What's going on guys, Blue Monster here and welcome back to an episode of Loadout. This week we're taking a slight change to the way we usually do things. Usually we do things based on look in the game. So if there's a weapon that looks like something else in the game, we use that to represent this weapon. This time we're doing it slightly different, we're doing it statistically. So if there was a gun that has best fits a certain one in another game, then we'll use that instead. Now this week we're doing a Sniper Elite Springfield Loadout. Now this is the Sniper Elite video game that features the actually pretty interesting and really incredible uh, x-ray kind of kill animation in one way. If you shoot someone you'll be able to see where the bullet hits on their body, it's sort of an x-ray feature. Now that is actually a very cool feature of the game um, that I really am surprised not many of the other games have copied or at least tried to implement a similar thing in their own game. But this loadout isn't specifically Sniper Elite 1, 2 or 3, it's sort of a combination of all of them in a way. Um, I do believe all of them take place in World War 2, and the most underlying weapon is the Springfield M1903 sniper rifle. First used by the US Army in the First World War, used all the way through the second, partially used in Korea and partially used in the Vietnam War. It's actually an extremely popular sniper rifle uh, for the US snipers during the time of course. The Springfield is actually quite a legendary sniper rifle um, that it is a shame that we haven't really seen any of it in Battlefield 4, not even 3 even. Uh, I do believe there is a version now in Battlefield Hardline but I've already addressed Hardline um, so I will not be using that gun anytime soon. Unfortunately, uh, I really wish they'd release it for Battlefield 4 instead of Hardline. Now, the overall loadout for this this weapon or this class really um, is the M98B representing the Springfield, as I said, 1903. Um, I have the Desert Eagle or the Deagle representing the Well Rod, and I would have liked to use a silencer, and I honestly thought that I was very close to unlocking it. Um, but it turns out I needed way more kills to get the silencer for the Deagle to represent the Werewolf specifically. Uh, and again, it's more based off the fact that it's a high damage pistol that can kill basically in one headshot, uh, rather than the fact that it looks like the Werewolf. Attached to the M98B, I have an 8x scope with a variable scope as well. The variable scope I was questioning, but I thought, yeah, why not? Sure, it doesn't entirely feature in the game, um, but occasionally uh, you do sort of pick up different rifles, I believe I've done my, my different magnification, um, so I thought why not use it, it also adds a bit of variety, rather than just simply going with nothing and having a simple plain sniper loadout. Now for the gadgets, I chose a claymore to represent the tripwires in the game, I could have gone with C4, but honestly C4 is turning into a bit of a scapegoat for this series, uh, you know, you don't know what to pick, pick C4 because explosives basically seems like the equation for all of these, these videos. Um, but I also chose the POD to represent the binoculars, even though the POD is pretty much useless to a degree uh, unless you are able to really pick up sights quickly uh, and acquire targets very quickly as well. Now as you can see from all of these clips, I am clearly not the best sniper in the world, in fact far from it. Uh, I've never really used sniper rifles to a maximum of effectiveness in Battlefield, I hate to say it, uh, I was honestly one of the, always one of those players just sort of went, yeah, I used Sniper Rifle, you know, a bit, a bit of fun, no eye inside, something like that. Um, or bit back in Bad Company 2, um, go on top of the tower and use it. But one thing I can say, the M90B is incredibly weak. You can see right there, I hit basically a headshot or a shot to the back of the guy's neck that should have killed him in one shot. And I'm only really getting one shot kills from headshots. So I was using this weapon thinking, oh my god, this is unbelievably underpowered. This thing is its almost unusable. I'm not sure when I'm having a problem, I'm not aiming right, or when the, ga the gun or the game are having problems uh, and they're not killing properly, or is this literally just bad luck? You will see in several of these clips it takes two upper body shots to kill someone. This gun does a maximum of 100 damage and 95 at long distance. Now that's 95 at an extreme range, you know. You have very little chance of hitting someone when they're running, so the only chance you really have is lucky shots or someone standing still and getting a headshot. And a headshot is two times what a plus, that's definitely a kill. So I was really miffed and confused why so many of these shots I was hitting at the chest weren't killing. And I, I was confused, I was wondering what the hell was happening. Um, and only late at night did I finally remember the defensive field upgrade, which gives you 10% damage reduction to the chest. This is obviously a huge problem for sniper for snipers in sniper rifles in general. Uh, for most weapons, when you shoot at someone, you continue shooting, and you don't really stop, so you'll definitely get the kill. Sniper rifles, you want one bullet to take them down, and that is it. 
So the, with, the, with the defensive field upgrade uh, so heavily used right now in Battlefield, it's very difficult for me to give a solid view of this gun because I'm not sure when the gun was not performing properly or when the, the distance was so great that the shot was decreased in terms of damage or when they had defensive field upgrade and that made it impossible to hit shots. Uh, so after that happened I really had to go for headshots, although this was kind of effective um, it was very difficult for me to actually line it up as I'm not a typical sniper, I'm more of a spray and play type, I hate to say it is honestly true. Overall though that was pretty fun to use, the Deagle was actually more of a beast than I ever thought it was. Uh, and honestly I had a lot of fun just acting as a sniper, something I don't really do much. Although there were lots of glitches and errors where headshots weren't killing or of course the upper body shots, um, I am very thankful that the did eventually uh, nerf this thing because I believe it did 20 or 15 damage at first when the game came out uh, which is shocking and I'm actually really surprised they didn't make this a, an attachment in Hardline. Uh, I honestly would have thought they would have made it a thing you can put on and it gives you decreased damage. Uh, that seems like the game to do it. But either way, again, this order was incredibly fun. I definitely recommend trying it, especially if you're a serious sniper. And yes, this is the M82. It's a nice little kill streak, so I thought, why not include it? But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. More videos on the way soon. But until then, bloom on soon. Out.